afternoon, and welcome to the Western Minnesota Steam Threshers Reunion. We are located outside of the small town of Rolog, Minnesota, off of Interstate 32, just 9 miles south of Highway 10. The hill, as it is called, is a living museum spread over 210 acres of land that puts on its exhibits every Labor Day weekend. Though the founders were pulling out old threshing equipment as early as the 1920s, the first official reunion was held in 1954 after nearly 500 people showed up in 1953 to watch the Nelson boys fire up their old tractors. However, Rolog has grown to include more than just gas engines and steam-powered tractors. Here, we can see an actual working print shop. At the beginning of this video, we saw the Sioux Line train engine number 353, which is a 500 passenger train that circles the hill and makes two stops. This is a 24 foot flywheel belonging to the 600 snow engine. Though its size is massive, it's relatively quiet. I'll stop talking so you can hear. To put it into scale, I decided to go stand in front of it. Yup, that's me. They also have a blacksmith shop where you can actually watch them working with the metal. For the kids, there is the model engine building, with miniatures of the actual engines that you can find around the grounds. These putt-putt boats on display can be purchased. With a little oil and some fire, these boats can move around your bathtub. With adult supervision, of course. My personal favorite exhibit is the sawmill, seen here. Where from start to finish, you can watch them deconstruct giant sections of tree trunk.
Places similar to the Western Minnesota Steam Threshers reunion are important because they can give us a glimpse into our past and the way we lived. It's one of the few places in the world where you can go and actually touch living history and not get yelled at. Like our editor, Jean Cirilla, says, We have so many special young people as volunteer members of Wimster. Be sure to encourage them, mentor them, and thank them. Work alongside them, showing them the joy of volunteering and enrich both of your lives in the process. They put a lot of emphasis on future generations at the show. For example, here is a picture of Jerry Swedberg, who started going in the early 60s. His son and daughter-in-law, Henry and Am, whom he brought up working at the show, and his granddaughter, my fiance, Danielle, who has also worked at the show her whole life. We have a different main feature every year, and next year it will be blacksmithing. So come on out and join us on the hill.